So friends, let us see now how exactly this aircraft is to be trimmed and it is to be flown. So the first thing is that, that this is the aircraft which is constructed, ready, the propeller has been fitted and you also will notice <coughs> that the trimming tabs have been placed on this. One is the aileron tab here on the right wing. The another is the elevator tab to the stabilizer and the one is the rudder tab fitted onto the fin. So this is the preparation before the flying. Now what is to be done after the flying is that, that first you have to understand the characteristic of the rubber. That whenever the rubber is connected between the propeller hook and the anchor hook and you wind the rubber, then the force that rotates the propeller is called as a torque. So because of the torque, the aircraft always has got a tendency to turn to the left because the propeller is turning to the right. So as a result of that, it will be to the left. I will demonstrate this for you. I will use some ordinary rubber, not the special rubber. So this is the standard four inch rubber band that uh, we use. So I will put this rubber band. It is easy for the purpose of demonstration. So this is the rubber band I have attached. Now, if I give them the turn, so I am giving the turns by winding it manually. You will see that when I release, the proper, proper, propeller rotates. But if I hold the propeller, then what will happen? See, now I am going to hold the propeller. Observe what happens to the aircraft. I am holding the propeller and where is the aircraft turning? The aircraft is turning to the left. So you can see that this is what is the effect of the torque. The meaning is that, that whenever you release the aircraft in the air, it will automatically have a tendency to turn to the left. And it is important that you keep this tendency under control. So how to keep the tendency under control? That uh, prepare your aircraft, put the rubber and take a trial flight. When you take the trial flight, if the aircraft rotates too much to the left, simply goes like this and dives down in this manner. The meaning is that the torque is too powerful and you have to balance it. To balance the torque, we have to press this wing down. And this will be done by turning this control, aileron control up. So turn the aileron slightly up and at the same time, turn the rudder slightly to the right. Now how much this should be done is a matter of practice. There is no formula for it. It depends on the construction, it depends on the rubber, it depends on the propeller, it depends on several factors. So you have to make by uh, learn it by trial and error. So initially don't do it too much like this, just little bit up here and little bit to the right here. And then after that, take the second flight. If you find that the aircraft is going up with a marginal left turning, that means your trimming is correct. But if you find that instead of going to the left, the aircraft is just going straight, then again it is not correct. Because even though so much of the torque is working, your aircraft is not going to the left, the meaning is that the controls that you have moved here are excessive. And as a result of that, you will always see that after some time, it will start turning to the right and perhaps it will go into the spin onto the right. So, you are going to take some time in learning all this. And that is why, learn this carefully and find out how the trim tabs are to be used for getting a proper flight. Now for the actual flight, you have to make the rubber loop. How to tie the knot and everything is given in the manual. It is available in the another video also. So let us not repeat it. The rubber loop should always be little longer than the distance between the two hooks. So this is the propeller hook and this is the anchor hook. So rubber should not be only this much. It should be at least about three centimeters excess. 
so this much of the rubber is always required the loop should be longer before flying or before attaching the loop you have to lubricate the loop in the manual everything is written but i will again show this that this is a car polish liquid car polish i am using but if you don't get the car polish you can make use of the soap solution so you can take uh, any liquid soap add a little bit of the water to it make it slimy and you can make use of that so either of the two things you can make use of the uh, liquid car polish or the liquid soap solution it is necessary because when you wind the rubber it gets heated up and because of that heat the rubber surface sticks to each other and then it doesn't unwind properly so that is why the lubrication is very essential it pulls the rubber as well as the strands of the rubber slip over each other giving out all the power stored in the rubber so uh, rubber has to be properly lubricated that is the second care you will take the third care is that that never wind the rubber in this position you have to stretch the rubber and how much you are going to stretch you will be stretching it at least to the three times the total length that means if this length of the rubber is 10 inches then you will have to stretch it at least to the 30 inches or a little more than that and then wind the rubber it is called as a stretch winding and without stretch winding you cannot get the power from the rubber you will notice that that is why this is not the ordinary rubber this is a special rubber used for the perfect rubber power model flying so you have to do the stretch winding now for the stretch winding such type of the winders are available but uh, unfortunately not in india they are available only in the european and the american markets where they do a lot of rubber power flying so this is 1 is to 10 winding winder the meaning is that that when you take one rotation of this the 10 rotations of the hook will be there so if you want to give the 500 turns onto the rubber then you have to rotate this only 50 times now if this winder is not available to you then you can make one winder for yourself making use of the ordinary drill machine so this is the ordinary drill machine which is available in any workshop and it can be obtained from anywhere it is a very common thing uh, in most of the workshops what i have done is that that i have just fitted a hook into the chuck and by making use of the drill machine i can do the winding but remember the gear ratio of this is 1 is to 4 the meaning is that when you make one rotation of this the hook will rotate four times so if you want the 500 rotations to be given then you have to rotate this 125 times so if you rotate it for 100 times then you will get 400 turns if you rotate this for 200 times then you are going to get 800 turns onto the rubber so make use of this type of the thing and then you will be able to wind the rubber in the proper manner so before the flying all these things have to be considered and then only you set to the flying otherwise you are not likely to get the good flight so understand the complete drill understand the complete logic how this is to be done and then we can get to the field and do the flying there is a separate video how this is done on the field what things are required on the field and uh, i invite you to have a look at that video also and make the flight quite successful i expect the good flights from you in this competition thank you now the final part of this is what if this breaks uh, let me tell you that this is not really likely to break because the weight is not going to be more than 10 grams so even if it hits somewhere the model is quite strong enough and it will not usually break but if it breaks then everything is made in wood and paper so by making the use of the standard uh, uh, wood glue like fevicol you can repair it if there is a crack somewhere say on the fuselage or something then completely repair it with fevicol and then put the two additional sticks on both sides 
using pevicol keep them under pressure and after drying it will be perfectly repaired so repairing is quite simple it is just stick and paper so you can repair it quite easily using paper ordinary pevicol and all so you can repair it easily in case you get uh, uh, get it damaged but i really don't think it will damage if you lie in the open field then there is no chance of getting this thing damaged for books by mr madhav khare visit www.rotsnaprakashan.com for many other products from paper gliders up to remote control planes exhibitions workshops lectures etc visit www.elerios.in or write to elerios.aeroclub at gmail.com